how to use the Dip to Color Dissolve video transition in DaVinci Resolve 19. Inside Edit in DaVinci Resolve, there are currently two video clips adjacent to one another on the Edit timeline. To access the video transitions, go to Effects, and underneath Toolbox, select Video Transitions. Underneath Dissolve, find the Dip to Color Dissolve transition. You may need to use the Zoom In function so that you can see your transition being applied to two video clips alongside one another. In order for this transition to be implemented between two different video clips, I need to trim off the ends of the relevant edits positioned alongside one another on the edit timeline by using the blade edits mode by pressing B. Here in this case I will trim off 15 frames of either edit. I will select both of these using the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A and highlighting and by pressing delete. Ensure that both video clips are still joined together. Click and drag the Dip to Color Dissolve option from the Effects menu. Drag your mouse cursor to the point where the two media clips join and select the small white rectangular frame representing your transition. We can see on the preview that the video clip is currently fading to black. Go to Inspector. The transition also lasts for roughly a third of a second at 10 frames. I will increase this manually by incrementing 10 to 30. Aside from changing the frames value, you can also manipulate the duration by changing the value in seconds, including to one decimal number. I will change the colour from black to blue by double clicking on the relevant colour box and selecting a preset from the basic colours options. Click OK once you've selected your shade. By default the colour will reach its most solid form by just before 0.5 of the transition curve property. If you wish for the transition to occur towards the end of the first clip here, Select Left Alignment, or to extend the presence of the first clip on screen, select Right Alignment. With Start Ratio set to 0 and End Ratio set to 100, we see a whole transition where a solid colour fades in and then fades out to reveal the subsequent video clip. If I increase the value for Start Ratio, the first 30% of the transition is skipped. And likewise if we decrease End Ratio, here in this example to 70, the final 30% of this transition is skipped, resulting in an abrupt start and end to your transition. Selecting In from Ease, set a slow speed for the transition at the start, which gradually increases as the transition plays. Ease Out, on the other hand, makes the solid colour appear at a much quicker rate before the transition slows down towards the end. And Ease In and Out ensures a steady intro and outro to your transition, with a brief increase in transition speed around the middle. Selecting Custom for Ease will enable you to change the keyframes applied to the transition curve. If I wish for the transition to have completed more than 16.7% of its trajectory by this point on my timeline, I can simply adjust the transition curve level, here in this example to 0.75, so that the transition reaches its three-quarter mark at this point on the timeline. I can use the next and previous keyframe buttons to access the manually applied keyframes on this particular transition. Reset any of the properties by clicking on the curled arrow alongside the relevant variable in the inspector window. And now my dip to color dissolve will complete a 0 to 1 successful transition. To remove the transition, simply select the frame on the timeline and press backspace or delete. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.